Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the channel. This is your host, Eclipse Down Bad, and we're back here again with another airline review. Today, we are reviewing Air New Zealand at their Auckland International Airport. And right off the bat, bro, the exterior of this airport and the scenery around me looks amazing. Like the exterior is really detailed and the overall scenery with like the cities, the buildings and the landscape just looks fantastic, no cap. Right off the bat, good impression. And before we start to go in and check in, if you guys aren't subscribed yet, please subscribe to the channel, like and hit the subscribe button, you know what I'm saying, become part of the notification gang. And with that out of the way, let's go check in. Here we are, we have security right here, and right here we have check-in. Unfortunately, they do not have self-check-in, which I don't mind out of flight that doesn't have a lot of people. Bruh. Bruh. Self-check-in machines, in my opinion, are only required if you have like over like 30 passengers. So this way you could free up staff. But here it is, I'm gonna just speed this process up. They actually do have self-check-in right here, as you guys can see, check-in tickets, so that's just the baggage drop-off. So you could just click on this and get a ticket. There's their self-check-in machine. Uh, as always, your boy is poor, so I can only print economy class. And we got our ticket. Before we go through security, they have like this neat little area over here. I'm gonna go look at it real quick. I don't know what this is, though. It just seems like, I don't know to be honest, I'm clueless, so I'm gonna just ignore that. And let's just go through security real quick. As always, I'm gonna just speed up this process once again. And we made it past security. Not gonna lie, that security checkpoint was pretty neat. And I like how they had a security officer just in the end, just to, you know, be prepared. And here we have just like random stores, I guess. We have like a coffee store right here, Starblocks. We also have, I do not know what the fuck this is, but it seems like it's like a bootleg McDonald's. And we could keep going down. So we're actually going down another level. Here we go. Wait, this is actually a unique layout, how the stairs go down, but there's like a sub story right here. I'm pretty sure this is just bathrooms though. Yeah, this is just bathrooms. Unfortunately, they're empty. And I'm not gonna go down there. That like that place looks scary. It looks like some horror movie type shit. So I'm gonna just ignore that too. And I'm pretty sure we're at the quote unquote main segment of the airline review. I mean airport review, my bad. So the interior of this airport is really minimalistic in my opinion. There's not much to see and it's only like modern colors such as gray, black, and white. It feels too empty. Like areas like where I'm standing at, there's like I feel like it could add a little bit of flair such as potted plants or like garbage cans basically some color because having an airport interior that's just all white and black and gray it does look modern but by the end of the day it looks boring and right here we have a lounge uh, even though I can't access it you can still get a pretty good view of it and the lounge is a great example of adding more feel wait actually you can access the lounge I thought the lounge was only made available to upgraded classes, but I think it's available for every class, so that's a good thing. And this is the lounge. In my opinion, this is definitely the highlight of this airport interior, just because there's more colors. Uh, mostly because of this little uh, buffet dingy here with the fruits and all the other items. You see how much potted plants like these on the table make a difference to an empty room? Having colors. Having secondary colors, even though I'm not an engineer or a home designer, I'm just like saying this off the top of my head. Having secondary colors that has great contrast with your primary colors makes a difference and it makes large empty room seem less empty. And this is a great example of that. So at this lounge, you could get cakes, uh, you could get salad, you could get spaghetti, and you could also get a bunch of random food. Overall, pretty nice lounge. But overall, I think I'll give this airport interior and exterior wise a 7 out of 10. Usually the interior is way better than the exterior, but this airport is the opposite. The exterior of this airport blows the inside of this airport out, no cap. Like the exterior looks amazing, it has multiple contrasts and like it has multiple, basically a bunch of detail and an amazing scenery that tags along with it. And the interior is just bland and it doesn't live up to the expectations. 
So other than the interior being bland, this airport isn't that bad at all. I'm pretty sure this is the gate we're gonna be using, so I'm gonna just take a seat and wait until they ask us to board. Two hours later. All right, they said boarding is now commencing, so let's go back to our gate and let's start to board the aircraft. Here we go, boys. Yo, this is actually pretty neat. So at first when I went on this aircraft, I didn't know why I was like not able to sit, but apparently you have to reserve your seat. This is actually pretty lit, bro. Hold up. So, since they give me business premiere, I could just select this class and I could select my seat selection. Hey, yo, this shit is lit, bro. Bro, I think this is the first time I've seen this personally, for me at least, and this is just amazing. Hold up. So, my seat is B3. Damn, it even shows on your screen. Okay. And the livery design of this plane, bro. The tail end looks amazing. Like the front end, there's barely any like detail or slash design. But the back of the plane, though, this shit looks tough, bro. They have their logo and they kind of have like a plant that goes from here to there. That shit looks lit. They also have their logo on the winglets. Overall, this livery design looks amazing. I think overall, I think I gotta give this plane exterior and interior wise like an 8 out of 10 bro like the interior even though everything looks fine and everything's modern and all i feel like could have been configured a bit better like add some borders and like made the seats a little bit lower but other than that the interior looks fine the exterior is definitely where it shines with its unique livery design bro Bro, the pushback that they have at this airline is actually unique. I don't know how they control it though. Like, is there someone with like a remote? Or is there like an invisible seat and someone's just sitting on this and made himself invisible? Because like, this shit is actually pretty unique. I haven't seen it before. And we took off successfully. Ain't got a cap for a second. I thought we wasn't gonna take off because the initial procedure in taking off was smooth. But as we were speeding down the runway, we started getting bumpy. Like I'm not talking about one to two bumps. Like it was starting to get bumpy, bumpy. But fortunately, we still took off, and that was still pretty a smooth takeoff. So nice job to the pilot. And bro, the clouds here. They also utilize 3D clouds instead of using the Roblox default 1D clouds, which is something I encourage most airlines to do. It makes the experience so much better when you're flying through the clouds because it's not one dimensional. And like shots like these are just 10 times more beautiful when you have 3D clouds instead of 1 or 2D clouds. Alright boys, we're now officially cruising and flight attendants should come around the cabin anytime soon to serve us. Man, let's just look at their menu real quick. Okay, I see what they're trying to do with the menu. It looks pretty well designed. We have the meal, sandwiches, drinks, and desserts. I think I'm gonna probably go with, hmm, I think I want fish and chips with a lemonade and chocolate mouse cake. Oh, so we get to order through the IFE. Speaking of which, I need to check out the IFE real quick. So here's the IFE. So let's go order our meal real quick. I think I'm gonna get, hmm, hold up. Ooh, they have smoothie. Wait, never mind. I'm gonna just add a smoothie and the courses. Let's see what they have here. Hmm, do they still have, they actually have a bunch more options in the courses menu when you order through the IFE. Like, I see some items on here that's not even on the menu, but it's on the IFE. 
So, yo, they have Philly cheesesteak? Ooh, hold up. Bro, I might have to order that, but damn. We have like a bunch of good options in here. So, oh my god. I think I'm gonna order the, um... Two hours later. Okay, unfortunately, you cannot add two entrees. That's pretty understandable. So I guess I'm gonna just go with uh, the Philly cheesesteak right over here. And for sides, uh, we have bacon rashers. What is that? We have boiled eggs, breadsticks, cheese platter, chewing gum, cookie dough, cookies, crackers, crepes, fried eggs, green donuts, gyozas, muffins, uh, onion rings, huh? Packaged chocolate cake. I think I'm gonna go with apple crumble. Why not? Basically an apple pie. So I'm gonna just order this real quick. The rest of the IFE is pretty standard. You have movies, music, games, the camera, and flight information. Basically, you guys have seen this IFE plenty of times. I'm pretty sure. So, you know, I'm not gonna bother checking it out that much. But I got my food models. So right off the bat, we have the Philly cheesesteaks. And hey, yo! Even though this doesn't look like a standard Philly cheesesteak, because I'm from Philly, I used to be from Philly, but even though this doesn't look like a standard Philly cheesesteak, the food model itself still looks good, even though it's not accurate. Like, I still see the cheese, the beef, and the bread. We also have some side of greens and another piece of bread. And for the smoothie, low-key, this does not look like smoothie, but it is what it is. And right here, we have the apple crumble. Unfortunately, it's covered by a package thingy and even though it seems like i could remove the package i don't think i can but even with the package slash the case on you can still get a pretty good view of the food model and the apple crumble still looks amazing no cap i think i'll give the food models here a 8 or 7 out of 10. all they lack is food eating animations if they add that in this shit is perfect no cap two hours later bro we just ditched someone Hey yo, our plane just started to descend and we just lost someone. Yo, that person got ejected, no cab. And we landed smoothly, not gonna lie, that was a pretty impressive landing considering how short this motherfucking runway is, holy shit. If it was me, I would've like fucking landed over there somewhere in the distance, no cap. Since we're on our way to our destination, let's give our final ratings of this airline. So I'll give this specific flight a 8 out of 10, a 7 to 8 out of 10, somewhere in that range. The airport, the exterior was fantastic, the scenery was one of the best, and just the overall outside aesthetics look amazing, but the interiors were basically lacking. Like, the exterior, like I said previously, was amazing, and compared to the interior, the interior seemed kind of like a joke in some areas, so overall, I'll say definitely improve on the interior. The aircraft, amazing. The interior, mo very modern very well designed all i wish that they could do is configure it a little bit better like the height for the seats and maybe add some borders that separate the classes but the livery though out the window bro this livery design looks lit no cap the staff team was also really polite and they basically offered a bunch of service throughout the entire flight so respect to them too and the pacing of this flight was also pretty good. It wasn't too fast. I wasn't feel like I was being rushed. It wasn't also too slow, which made it feel boring. Overall, is that perfect in between. So overall, well deserved 7 to 8 out of 10 for this flight. I think we can now disembark, so let's just hop off the plane real quick. Yo, overall this was a pretty enjoyable experience considering how many unique things I saw at this airline such as the um, seat reservation and the fucking pushback system that they had. Overall, really enjoyable experience, no cap.
and I highly encourage all you guys to check it out. Links to this airline will be listed down in the description below as long as my Discord server, which you guys should join. It'd be lit in here, no cap, bro. And thank you guys for watching my video, especially if you watch until the very end, bro. Mad respect to you for watching this. And until next time, this is your host, Eclipse Roblox, and we're out. Peace.